In this video, I will show you how to translate a small Word document in a tool called Cafetran Espresso. So first, let's have a look at the document that we're going to translate. It looks like this. It has about uh, 10 segments and it includes a picture and some texts formatted as italic. In addition to that text, we have uh, two files that we are going to be able to use as resources. One is a small Excel sheet that looks like this. So it has uh, two columns, one for Finnish terms and the other one for English terms. As you can see, some of the Finnish terms contain the pipe character near the end. And this is to accommodate the fact that Finnish is a highly inflected language in which words can take a lot of different forms. This is, by the way, the same syntax used by WordFast Classic and MemoQ. And this is very handy if you are dealing with other highly inflected languages, such as Turkish, Hungarian, Slavic languages, and so on. Then we have a TMX translation memory that contains some reference material relevant for this translation. So let's start Cafetran. In order to get started, we need to create a new project. And for that, we have two possibilities. The first one is to click on the new project button. And the second one is to drag and drop a source document into the green area. So this is what we will do. The document is here and I will drag and drop to this area. Now get a new dialog box. By default, the project name is the same as the name of my document. I will change this to Sunto, F-I-E-N, since it's a translation from Finnish into English. The languages were already selected, not because uh, Cafe Train was able to smartly guess them, but probably because the previous project had that particular language pair. There are two resources that uh, were already created and selected for us. So the first one is a project memory and the second one is a project glossary. And the project glossary is the one into which we will import our Excel terminology. So I'll click on OK. And uh, this is what the interface looks like. Uh, before telling more about it, I will do one thing. I will click on the next button here, which will change slightly the appearance of the interface. So there are three main components. The first one is what Cafe Tran calls the grid. It's on the left hand side. There are two columns, one for our source segments and the second one, which is empty for the time being, which will be for our English translations. The second one is to the right. It's called the segment panes. There are two panes. The one on the top is for source segments and the one on the bottom is for target segment. So in the lower pane, I can enter my translation getting started. And this is the target segment pane. And then on the bottom part of the window, we have what uh, Cafe Tran calls the tabbed pane, in which there are several tabs for resources that uh, we are going to use during the project. So here we have only two tabs, the first one for the project TM and the second one for project terms. But if we had uh, additional resources, such as machine translation or web search or other additional TMs, they would appear as tabs tabs in that area. The interface is quite flexible. So for instance, if I want to display the project terms to the right of the segment panes, I can just uh, right click on it and select Dock tab to segment panes and it will appear on the right hand side of my segment panes. Now, while I'm at it, I will import into my glossary the sample terminology that I showed you. So I'll select glossary, import MS Excel glossary. The file is on my desktop in the Cafetron folder and it's this one here. So open and now I have my sample terminology imported. To move to the next segment, I will click on the next button here, which is the same as Alt Down. And what it will do, it will both add the segment pair to the TM and move to the next segment. So now I'm in segment number two. And as you can see, there are two words that are highlighted by Nick Gate 
and Valicot. And this is because they belong to the glossary that we imported from Excel. And on the right hand side, we can see the corresponding translations. There is a feature in uh, Cafe Tran called Auto Assemble. So here I have a small icon. If I click it, it's Auto Assembling Panel. And in that panel, I get an auto assembled segment that I can accept with enter. And this auto assembled segment includes the translated terms that were highlighted in source. Here, I need to make a couple of changes since uh, Pinecate and Valicot, these are the plural forms of these uh, terms. So in English, it would be buttons and menus. And then I need to translate the third word, ya, which in English is end. Now my translation is ready and I can move to the next segment with alt down. Here I have again an auto assemble segment, but it's not very useful. So I will enter my own translation instead. Again, I will move to the next segment with alt down. Here we have again two highlighted uh, words and an auto assembled segment, but I will ignore the auto assemble segment and instead I will enter the highlighted words one by one. For that, I have two possibilities. The first one is to start typing the translation. So Pina in English is press to, so I can type P R E and Cafe Tran will suggest the rest. I can just approve it with enter. So this is auto completion, also called uh, predictive typing. The second possibility is to press the F2 key, in which case I have a pop-up from which I can select either with the arrow keys. So for instance, here I select Pina, enter, I have my translation. Or the second possibility, I press F2 and the suggestions have uh, numbers. So Pina is number two, I can just press two and I have my translation. I'll then enter the rest of my translation. And now I need to enter the second uh, highlighted word, which is Allotus Valico. So again, I can press F2 and then number one, start menu. I'll accept this translation, Alt down. And as you can see here, segment number six was identical to segment number four. So Cafe Tran automatically populated the cell for segment six. And this is a feature called uh, auto propagation. And this is why you have a red P displayed inside the status column of uh, segment number six. Now I need to translate uh, segment number five. So Pina is recognized again, so I can press F2 and one, then I can enter the rest. And the second part is Valico, it's menu. So again, F2 and number two. I get menu. I press Alt down. This segment was already auto propagated. And now before moving to the next segment, what I will do, I will select memory and open memory. And I will add the TMX translation memory that I showed you previously. Open and OK. So now we have this new TM as a resource. And I will move to the next segment with Alt down. Here I'll translate again. So F2 and uh, press 2 and the rest is uh, activate the and now I need to translate a word Tau Stavalo that I want to search in my reference TM. So for that I will use the concordance search feature of Cafe Tran, which is uh, located here. So MS means memory source segments. So that's uh, concordance search against uh, source segment. There is also MT memory target segments, which is the same, but against the target language. So I click on this here and Cafe Trend will list all segments in my reference TM that contain the word Tau Stavalo. And I can see that uh, Tau Stavalo in English seems to be backlight. So I can just double click it and it will be inserted at the end of my target segment. So now what I can do if I want to add these two words, Tau Stavalo in Finnish and Backlight in English, I can highlight the source word, Tau Stavalo, and I can highlight the target word, Backlight, and I can click on this icon here, Add Term to Database or Glossary, which is the same as Alt G. And now I will edit this by adding the pipe character at the end in order to take care of the inflection. 
and this term when I press OK this term will be added to my project terms. So from now on the word Taustavalo in any form will be recognized as belonging to the glossary. Now I press uh, Alt down and here I have a 61% fuzzy match that I can accept and if I switch to the project TM, I can see where it comes from. So previously we had su renta accessi, now we have pn renta accessi. In English, instead of increase, it's decrease. And the second change that we have, instead of uh, ulospain, we have now alaspain. So instead of uh, up, we must have down in English. Now my translation is ready. I can move to the next segment, all down. And this is the last segment. Here we have again an auto-assemble segment, but I will ignore it and type my own translation. So Peter Pineptuna, it's kept pressed. I can start typing and accept the rest. And I'll enter the rest of my translation. As you can see, there are two tags in red in the source segment, and they indicate uh, formatting. So it's uh, highlighted in the original document. And in order to insert tags, I need to type the number of the tag and press the escape key. In which case, the number that I just entered will turn into a small red tag. Now we do the same at the end of the segment. So I will type 2 and escape and I have my red tag. Now I press Alt down. Everything is translated. Cafetron wants me to perform a QA, quality assurance. I'll do that. Export. OK. Here are all the things that it will check. OK. And it looks like everything was fine. Now my translation is ready and I can export it. And for that, I'll select Project, Export Current Document. Cafetron will add the target language code ENGB for British English at the end of the document name. Save. Export completed. And if I go to my project folder, which is located in my documents and projects, and here is my project, I can find my translated document. I can open it and it looks just fine. Everything is in English and we have our original picture and we also have this portion of text properly formatted as italic. So there you have it, how to translate a Word document with Cafetron Espresso 2015. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.